Hello, 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 guys. This is going to be a very, very short episode. We're just going to, like, recap something because uh, my computer shut down mid-recording and it messed. It just corrupted the file. And that really, really sucks <laughs> because we lost a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to cover a little bit of what we, what we screwed up. Um, this episode, we were supposed to go out to Bleak Falls Barrow and basically... Um, go and do the Bleak Falls Barrow quest. So go and do uh, all of that. But before we left, uh, we did a couple of things. Let's go ahead and just hop into our items here. So for our weapons, I went through and I upgraded each thing from um, a regular to fine so that we had some decent stuff. I bought a bunch of arrows so that we had a bunch left over. Um, same thing with the, uh, these here we were able to upgrade these obviously i have a minor alchemy necklace we'll get to that in a bit um so we then sold a bunch of potions um trying to make a bunch of money which we did and we bought a little bit of stuff before we before we left um but for the most part that was it then we headed out the door and made it our made it out to bleak falls barrow where we fought um, some bandits and some, the Dragger Lord and picked up the Dragon Stone. Um, after which, uh, let's see, we'll go to the map. After we got out of uh, Bleak Falls Barrow, which is down here, we came out somewhere right around this area um, where we walked around this area over to Anise's cabin. Anise is a witch, and uh, we killed Anise because we wanted to steal things from her house. So that's what we did. We killed her. We stole a bunch of stuff from her house. Uh, all kinds of alchemy uh, items. Uh, we then followed over here to Riverwood uh, where we went and sold, uh, we gave the golden claw back to that guy uh, and got paid for that. Um, and then we sold the rest of our potions and a couple other things and he had a few good um, items to sell to us. So um, one of the things that we bought was was that uh, minor alchemy necklace, which is something we really, really wanted um, because our alchemy level is extremely important to us. And then after that, we made it. We walked our way over here to White Run and back up to Dragon's Reach, and we are about to. Uh, Wait. I know you to return our dragon stone to this guy. See, so that's that's the it. Terminology is clearly we'll just finish up ah, this. Uh, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual. We're just gonna fill this. <laughs> finish this quest. But I think that's gonna be it for this little clip. I don't think I'm gonna release this as like a full episode. I might release it on an off day or whatever. Um, so let's see. What is my reward? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. Oh, that's cool. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for that's recovering Delphine. for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when Barangar. you've deciphered it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Oh no. Well, I guess you maybe we can. To... We want to kill the dragon. How exciting. All right. What that's what we'll do. Well, what I'll kill doing? the dragon and then we'll be. I'd take this a bit more seriously. The if I were you. episode, I think. If a dragon decides to attack White Run, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So. Yerileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. I saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. 
Irulet. You'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. All right. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. He's gonna turn to me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. <laughs> yeah, I ran away. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, Give me something good. I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Oh, I'm steward. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Or whatever they call it. Come along. Uh, I would very much like to see this dragon. Whatever they... Squire? No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here. Studded armor of the squire. That's awesome. All right. Apparel. Yeah, that's a light armor piece that is better than this one. Um, it's enchanted though, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, increase Working its on ways power to defend yet. the city against these dragons. As you command. All right. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Yeah, you seem like it, lady. All right, let's go. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. I don't think you do. <laughs> We're gonna go take out the dragon. Um, let's see, what weapon do we have hooked up right now? We got a sword. That's probably not the best idea. Let's use it. Let's use the bow instead. All right. So instead, oh, do I want? Let's fight this dragon at night. That sounds like a plan, right? That's okay. I don't mind. Okay. The guards should be right down here. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's crazy. It's on. It's on there twice. Huh. <laughs> uh, whatever that marking is, it's a uh, thieves guild mark. Here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the western watchtower. A what? dragon. Now we're in for it. Well, it's not the actual Thieves Guild mark. It's more like you a, heard right. a mark put there by dragon. the Thieves Guild so that you can tell what the building is before you go in, whether it's worth it. looting or not. That it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Carl, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No. no so dead. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim cool. since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours. If you're with me. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Damn right. I I guess. <laughs> Let's move These guys sound just as thrilled about it as I do. All right. Wait. I know you. No, you don't. What do they call it when uh, when you're able to like? You're not the not a steward. It's like a. a uh, Something else. All right, bring up our bow. It's probably not the best idea to um, take this dragon on at night. We're not gonna be able to see it as well. Um, that's fine. It'll be on the ground momentarily.
come on, antler. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but I wasn't going to turn it down. Yeah, baby. Where are those guards? got to figure out what happened and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere spread out and look for survivors we need to know what we're dealing dum dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 no get back it's still here somewhere Brocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it to the roof. To the roof. Save us. Here he comes again. Come on, come on, come on. Get up there. I gotta get up there so I can get some shots off. Gotta be fighting somebody. Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training. 
the I way think, the dragons do. I didn't think you could shout dragons. right away. What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons. Poof! They are just he coming back the now door. for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yrila? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yrila. Tell us. Do you believe I'm carrying too much to be able to run. That, that sucks. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. Well, we but killed I don't the dragon. Need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon my is mic, more than enough for me. Up. You wouldn't understand, House. Okay, sorry about that there. I uh, had to stop the recording for a minute. Um, my mic keeps screwing up. Um, I think it's because it's a million degrees out here. But I can't carry anything, so let's uh, let's see if we can't um, fix that. Um, it's about two two pounds or weight, so maybe okay. Those don't weigh anything. Um, those probably don't weigh anything. Food. This probably weighs some stuff. Let's get rid of some of these. Oh no, it's not. We could probably get rid of all of this and still not make it to two. <laughs> Um, ingredients. No, oh, no, 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 no. Key to Girder's house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, who's Girder? <laughs> That's the lady from the beginning. All right, now, dragon bones. We don't g get rid of this stuff because you need it to make dragon armor later on. If, if you don't have enough dragon scales, you end up, you end up screwed. So, let's see. What is pretty heavy that we don't need? Probably that cowhide. Oh, we got a bunch of wolf belts. Um, we could just not worry about it. Let's go to potions and then, like, go to... I think I had a... Here, yeah, potion of strength right here. And it's stolen, so I can't sell it, so I might as well just use it. Um, there. That'll help us get back get back to White Run. Um, as fast as possible. So what I'm gonna do is get back to White Run, um, try to fix our um, carry weight issue. Um, and, uh, things like that, I guess. Oh, another, another, Oof. whoops, not it. Um, can I kill that <laughs> with my sword? I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. Come here, you stupid deer. I need those hands. It doesn't even have. Oof. That's the problem. You need to get those antlers. I need a bunch of them. Small antlers. I need to ask you to stop. That shouting is making people nervous. Oh, sorry. It won't happen again. Good. Too bad there's more where that, that came from. That's funny. I'm sorry I had to lose out on that bit of us going. It's a, about an hour of us going to Bleak Falls Barrow. I didn't. I really wish that didn't happen. I'm sorry. You're finally here. Um, but I'm not going to redo it. <laughs> I'm just not going to. I don't see the, the point. Summons. It's really early what in the game, and if we miss a little bit, something so like that, it's not a big deal. Was the dragon there? 
Uh, the uh, watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Uh, when the dragon died, I absorbed some so kind of power true. from it. The Greybeards really were summoning you. I guess. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards the want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. Shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning Rangar. you to High Rothgar. Rangar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rongar, don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. And mine has nothing to do with Whatever you. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeard's heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeard's. All right. It's a tremendous I'll honor. go. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a <laughs> Karen, very too much to be able to run. Place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of White Run. Oh, Thane, that's what it is. It's the greatest honor that's within my power. And I get the Axe of White Run. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? Oh, no, we, are we definitely to have wouldn't want us to be of our city part of the common board. rabble. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. All right, so if I talk to this yes, guy, he's going to want to tell me about the house, right? Um, hey, yo. I serve Jarl Balgruff as um, steward. I'd like to purchase a house in the city. It's 5,000 gold. I don't have that yet. Um, I Enjoy don't think. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. 3700. We'll have to go and get more. Um, what does the Axe of White Run got? Items. So the Axe of White Run is an 11. Um, it burns the target for 10 points. So it takes fire damage. Hmm. Well. <laughs> That sounds pretty nice, <laughs> actually. <clears throat> now, it, uh, it is items better, weapons is better than here. Oh yeah, mm -hmm, it is, why one? Um, but what's cooler is I could get rid of this and get one of these to have this same thing. <laughs> Or something very close to it, anyway. Um. Okay, so since I can't move, I'm gonna just going to say, alright, I'm going to go and do some um, potion making right in here. 
But that's going to be it for today, guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.